In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the mother of all text animations. You can save what we're doing today as an animation preset and bring it in with the click of a button. This text animation has no keyframes, is easily altered, and has a responsive mask, meaning you never have to reset your text mask again. Stick around and gain light years of knowledge in under 10 minutes. Check out ways to support this channel in the description below, but more importantly, stick around to learn some really cool stuff. Okay, there's a lot to get through, so let's dive right in. I want to type in some text, so Command or Control T to bring up your text tool, Responsive Masks. Function Command Option Left Arrow centers your anchor point, and then Function Command Left Arrow centers that to the middle of your comp. Okay, so let's just create a really quick text animation using text animators. I want to add in a position. So if we move this down, 185 on the y-axis, which is going to animate our text up, open up some of these properties and just do a super quick, easy text animation. Okay, open up advanced and we're going to change based on from characters to words. We're going to change our shape from square to ramp up, which is going to make this offset negative 100% up to 100%. Okay, and then let's change our ease low to 100%. Think of ease low as ease in and ease high as ease out. Then I'm also going to turn this randomize order on. I want to put this up to 100% and then put a keyframe there. And then if you hold down shift, option, right arrow twice, it moves that over 20 frames. So shift, option, right arrow moves it over 10 frames. And then option, right arrow moves it over one. As you can see, I'm just doing right and left arrow. Let's make this initial value negative 100%. And we just have a very simple animation on our text right there. If you right click on this layer, go to mask, new mask, we can see that it puts a mask here. Now, one of the things to keep in mind is that whenever you add this mask, it needs to be at the end of your animation because if we scrub through, you can see it disappears. So you always want to go past that last keyframe and then right click mask, new mask, or you can choose shift command N and that adds a mask. If you alter this text in any way, so I'll say responsive masks are the bomb. As you can see, our text disappears. So now if you press M to bring up your mask and change this from add to none, we can see this is what our text should look like. So in this instance, what I would normally do, set this back to add, is simply right click mask, reset mask. So now this code that we'll be applying to our mask is going to alleviate the need to do that. This is code that I came across on Ukra Media's YouTube channel. So I can't take credit for this code. It is a time saver, a game changing piece of code. So I do wanna give hats off to Ukra Media and I don't wanna come across as if I came up with this code because I did not. I'm gonna copy that from my notepad and then option alt click onto mask path and paste it in. I'm gonna kind of expand this. This is the actual code. If you wanna know exactly what this code is doing, check out the tutorial on Ukra Media's YouTube channel. They beautifully explain it. They go through each line of code. They show you stuff that's way too in depth for the kinds of tutorials I do. I'm just gonna be showing you how to apply this to your text animation and save this as an animation preset. But I do recommend that you check out their tutorial because that's where this kind of all began. With this code on here, if we click away, we can see now that our mask now goes around everything. And I'm gonna change this text to responsive mask. And as you can see, it's responsive. So it is staying on our text. And if you scrub through, you can see that everything is exactly as we wanted it, which is super impressive. Okay, so one of the things I did last week was I showed you how to add code to a text animator to animate it with no keyframes. So let's do that to this as well, because we want to make this the mother of all text animations. So we're going to be adding this code to our offset, which is right here. And so now if you didn't see my tutorial that went over this in detail, check that out. It's too much information to kind of spit out right now. I'm just going to go ahead and apply it. OK, so I'm going to option click and add my code. And both of these pieces of code are included in the project file. Now, I sell my project files through my Patreon. You can grab it there. They're super cheap, it's like five bucks. If you join as a member, you get all of my project files for free. And if you join at a certain level, I think it's like $10 a month, you get all my templates, courses, animation presets, a lot of stuff, a lot of years of knowledge and information and time-saving assets. So if you haven't already joined this channel, please consider doing so. And please, if you haven't subscribed, I highly encourage you to subscribe. Only about 10% of my audience has actually subscribed to my channel. And that's a free, simple way to help this channel out. So now if we watch this playback, we can see that we have animation with no keyframes. And we also have this responsive mask. I'm going to change this again to responsive 
masks are cool and as you can see this mask is changing and we watch this animation play back and it is still responsive and no keyframes one of the things i did explain is that this is going to animate from your endpoint so you can alt left bracket to trim that over okay and then we're going to just animate this out using no keyframes so again this code is going to be included in the project file rename this animator to n and we can duplicate that command d and close that up and let's change this to out we're going to open that up and go back to our offset just click on that code we already have and paste right on top of it so what that's going to do is make this animate based on our out point we alt right bracket to trim that over so now once we trim this over we get some kind of interesting results you need to make sure that you change your ramp up to ramp down and now this will animate properly okay and the thing that's cool about this is if you select this layer and type pos for position this end position that's your animation in and this is your animation out so we can change this to say negative 150 and now it will animate up so we come in from the bottom go out to the top and that's going to be on our y axis now, if you want to animate it on the x-axis, maybe we'll say 150 and it'll come from the right. And as you can see, you get kind of some funky results there. So let's open this back up and tweak this just a bit. Take our randomization order off and we'll leave it at words. And you can see how it would come in like that. Since we're inside of a mask, what you want to do is move this off till we can't see it like that. And if that's too far over for you, like if you don't like that kind of an animation, you can also add in an opacity text animator, put that down to zero. And maybe move this back over we'll say to 250 so it actually starts a little bit closer to where it's going to end but it fades in so that way you just get a little bit different kind of animation so one of the things i did mention in my other tutorial just real quick depending on whether or not you go out to the left or right you're going to get some interesting results so let's go back out to the right this is set to words and this will always animate out first word first so see we get that kind of a weird thing like that actually i'm going to go ahead and push this all the way off so you can see it easier so now if you want the last word to go off first, so if you want to go out from right to left, all you have to do is make a few adjustments. We'll go into our offset and just change this code right here that says negative 100 to 100. Flip that. So 100 and then make this other one negative 100 and then just change our shape from ramp down to ramp up. So now it's going to go out last word first. So if you're getting those results, just remember to swap this right here make it 100 negative 100 and change your shape to ramp up if you want a more detailed explanation of why this is check out my tutorial the link is in the description below okay so i'm just going to leave this the way it is and i'm going to save this as an animation preset and show you how we can bring it back in so there are a few things you want to grab you're going to get the in and out animation and the mask because that's where our code is so go up to animation save animation preset and you always want to put this in your documents adobe the version user presets i have a folder for seven minute ae and I'm just going to call this text animation, responsive mask, no keyframes. Whenever I save a text animation, I just name it like this. So that way, whenever I pull up my presets, I know that text AN is text animation. I'm going to click save. Okay, now let's take off these animations and the mask. So now all we have is our text right here. We can go up to our effects and presets under user presets, seven minute AE. Here's our animation preset. You can also search if you know what you're looking for. So I'm gonna type in response, and as you can see, it goes right to it. So let's just double click on that. As you can see, it added in our mask and our text animators, hit EE, and as we can see, we have all of our code still in here. So these are some great shortcuts. If you tend to do a lot of text animations, you really wanna find some quick way to create your text, animate it in. If you're using a mask and have never used responsive masks, I highly recommend that you spend some time with this tutorial with this code and save it as an animation preset. It will save you so much time, especially over the course of a project or multiple projects over weeks and months, you're gonna save literally days. Okay, so now I do wanna point out one thing. I'm gonna close this back up. If you trim this over at the front for your endpoint too much, you're gonna get some kind of strange results, like it won't fit in your mask. So what you may wanna do is trim more from the end. That way you won't get those weird results. So if you do trim the endpoint and you find yourself like where did my text go just pull this back out until it shows up right in there and you should be fine that's about the only glitch i could find with this combination of expressions sometimes whenever you combine too many things you do get some strange results but i did want to point that out although you can trim this over i recommend that you trim it more from the back and if you want to move it over just move the whole layer over instead of trimming it 
So instead of doing that alt left bracket, just do left bracket and then you can trim it from the end and you should not have any issues. Although if you do run into any issues, drop me a line in the comments below. Okay, so I hope this helped you out. Let me know in the comments below if you found this useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.